Minutes ago, former President Trump turned himself into the Fulton County Jail in Atlanta. Touchdown at Atlanta's Hartfield Jackson Airport, quickly whisked off to the Fulton County Jail. He was booked, processed, took a mugshot, all in less than 90 minutes. And just moments ago, we actually got a look at that mugshot. Here it is, former president posing at with the Fulton County Sheriff's Office. He'd been adamant that there would be a mugshot. And there it is. You can see that will be used by both the former president and his detractors. But let's turn to the politics of this, because look, we've talked at length about the legal side of this, right? We can talk about when the trial is going to happen. You got some people who are now also defendants of his asking for a speedy trial. Donald Trump asking for more time. There is no way they're all going to be tried together. We'll see what happens with all of that. But the president, the former president, clearly did this at this time so that it would be covered by all the cable news networks. It was, in part, a political effort to make sure that the world saw this and saw that mugshot. And so the question is, could it, will it help him politically? Let's check in with Larry Hogan, former Republican governor of Maryland and honorary chairman of an America United, a political action committee. Governor, thanks so much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. All right. So it does sure. seem, does it not, that the former president is trying to use this indictment, use the mugshot, use this spectacle to his political advantage. No, I agree with you, Dan, and I think uh, there's no question about uh, the timing of this, doing it uh, in primetime television hours, uh, capturing all the attention, particularly right after the debate last night where we have you know, 11 uh, other potential Republican candidates trying to get some traction and attention and talk about issues and why they might be a good choice, and he's completely stepped all over that. He's also using it to fire up his base, and that's what this, you know, putting the legal aspects aside for a moment, and it's a sad day for America. He's innocent until proven guilty. We've got all these different cases, but, you know, no man's above the law. But the political aspects of this, the, the court of public opinion, I think it's going to cut both ways, as you, as you started out by saying both, uh, both sides are going to be using this mugshot and talking about this. I think it's likely to actually give him a boost with his uh, primary supporters who are going to rally to his defense, but it's likely to hurt him uh, pretty badly in the general election. And I think the most important thing is that what we're going to see is a split screen campaign. It's going to be, you know, Trump's legal issues and the trials and all of this, while others are trying to focus on the campaign. And it's going to go out, the entire campaign is going to be just like this with, with him kind of uh, capturing all the attention. It's what everyone's talking about, and it's going to suck all the oxygen out of the room. You know, the, the, the mantra from Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani and others has been, I'm being arrested for you, right? Because if this can happen to me, it can happen to you. Um, you, know, you were the Republican governor of Maryland. Do you think that that message is going to resonate? I think it will resonate with some of the Trump base, and I, we've seen that already with each indictment he's gone up in the polls. I think he was down around 40 percent at, at one time before the first indictment. He's now 62 percent or something like that, and uh, you've seen uh, other candidates dropping rather than rising. But I, I think it's going to help him with the base because that message is, uh, the, you know, they're talking about the weaponization of the Justice Department and they're coming after me and it's unfair. Uh, however, these are very serious legal problems, as you know, and we're, we, we're, you know, we're going to figure out how it's all going to turn out. But it certainly is turning off wide swaths of swing voters, uh, independents and Democrats and softer uh, Republicans who aren't MAGA based Republicans. It's having the opposite impact. So I think it's temporarily going to give them a boost and then hurt them long term. Well, thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.